Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Guldeep here, and uh, today we are going to learn about Playwright architecture in this session. So I have created this Playwright architectural diagram and would like to explain the concepts with help of the same. So here you can see like there are three major component. So first is the client. In the middle there is the Playwright server. And in the last, there are browsers. So let's see like what is the responsibility of these components and uh, how they are communicating with each other. So let's start with this client component. Okay. So basically the client component is responsible for sending the request to this playwright server. And uh, how the client can send the request. Okay. So client can send the request to this playwright server in form of the test scripts okay and as we know that the playwright supports the multiple languages like the java c sharp python javascript and the typescript so we can write down our code in any of these languages and that code is sent to the playwright server okay and now like if we talk about how this client and the playwright server are connected to each other so they are connected to each other with help of this websocket protocol so it is responsible for receiving the request from the client and sending it to playwright server okay i will talk more about this websocket protocol in a couple of minutes so let's focus on the playwright server as of now so once this playwright server receives the request so it directs that request to the respective browser which we have defined in our test script so like it can be any browser it can be the chrome firefox Azure, or safari okay and those scripts gets executed on that uh, respective browser and after that the response is given back to the client so this is the way the playwright uh, works internally so now let's talk about this websocket component in uh, more detail so let's see like what is the websocket protocol and uh, how it works so basically it is a standard protocol built over pcp for wire directional and full duplex communication between client and server and it was developed by Eon Hickson and the Michael Carter uh, apart from that like all the modern browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge they all support this uh, WebSocket protocol okay and uh, it is a stateful protocol which means connection between client and server will keep alive until it is terminated by either side party okay so when a connection is initiated between client and server the client server makes the handshake and decide to create a new connection and the connection is keep alive till it is terminated by either of them okay so this is the way the websocket protocol works and here are a few real time examples like the gaming trading messaging applications collaboration tools and for the cases where you basically need real time updates from the both directions so now let's try to connect these points with our architectural diagram so here we can see like once the handshake between the client and server is done then the connection gets established between these two components and the connection is kept alive until it is terminated by the client or by the playwright server so which means like once the connection gets established we can send the n number of requests without disturbing the connection between the client and playwright server okay so that is the reason our test cases gets executed in more faster way with the help of the playwright okay guys so that's it i hope like it is helpful and uh, you are able to get uh, the details like how the playwright works internally thank you for watching please like comment share and subscribe thank you so much